Alright, so for this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make this cool little gradient effect that kind of moves around for your text. So first you want to just create a new composition. Um, make sure the time and stuff is right. First, you just want to create a new solid. It could really just be any color, it doesn't really matter. Um, and then you want to go to the effects. Uh, you can just go to your windows if you don't see it. And type in fill. You should see fill right underneath here. Just add that to that. And then you could really choose any color, it doesn't really matter. Just whatever colors you want for your little gradient. Um, next, you want to just make sure you're selecting this uh, fill. And then you want to use the pen tool to create like a little wave or just like a, really any shape, I guess. So it should mask that. Um, next you want to press F on your keyboard, you should see the feather option, and you just want to drag that until, uh, it's what you prefer, I guess. I usually go around 300. Uh, next you want to add a turbulent displays, you just type in turb, it should be right here. Alright, so you just want to hold Alt and click on Evolution right at the effects control. Now you should see all this nerd stuff pop up. You just want to type in time, times, and you can just type in, I'm going to type in 400. But the higher you go, the faster it will obviously be. So if you just play that. You can see it kind of moves a little bit, but my computer's slow, so... Let's see. Yeah, it moves a little bit. Um, you can also change, like, the amount and everything, if you want. Uh, so I like the size. I'm gonna turn that to, like, 300. And see that movement. It's pretty nice. Um, next, you just want to duplicate this layer. I recommend changing like the colors of your layers just because it's easier to tell it apart. And then you just want to drag it down a little bit and then you can just change the color from right up here on your fill effect and just again pick whatever color I guess you want. Um, usually try not to go with like colors that might mix up and become like super muddy so usually I go like opposite from the color scale or something like that. And then just duplicate this really as many times as you want. Oops. Just keep dragging it down, changing the color. And then I'm just going to do three colors, but I'm going to select them all and then drag them up higher just to fill out more of the screen. But obviously if you do like more colors, you can fill up the whole screen that way too. Um, then we're just going to select all these and just pre-compose those because it makes that a lot easier. You can usually name that, but whatever. Um, now I can just turn off that layer real quick, add whatever text you want. I'll just put my name. Alright, well usually, here, hold on. Usually it'll be like this for your composition settings, but if you right click the top of here and then go to columns and go mode, you should be able to now see that your uh, 
alpha mats and stuff. So you just want to select for your gradients, alpha mat, uh, whatever your text was. And so when you turn this on, it should, if you want to move this to the center, but it should just play it through that now. If you let it render and then put it through. So yeah, that's my tutorial. Pretty lit.